Yo, 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 this is your boy Haido, and I hope you guys are having a nice day or a nice night, depends on where you're at, in what country and what state you're in. So, ever since the KSI versus Logan fight and everything, there's like has been an ongoing kind of like quest for match between Adam Salah to Sansei. And I think, I believe, Face Sunset had called out Adam Salah about five, six months ago, and he recently called him out again. And today we're just gonna watch that uh, video and just react to it. So let's get started. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. Hey, hey. So I gotta respect him for saying that, right? Like, I mean, there's, in my opinion, there's two type of ways to actually call somebody out. Obviously, if you have a beef for them or you just because of the entertainment and kind of like passion behind it, right? So if you look at any spiting sport, you see people that are competitors with each other. It's not because really they hate each other. Some of them do, but majority of them is because of the compete, the nature of the sport. So you gotta give them respect to that. So I'm not sure if everybody wants to say that. I mean, Sensei, you gotta give him respect. He's a very talented individual when it comes to actually combat fighting, and not just like boxing and all that stuff. If you haven't watched his fight against Overflow, it was a really good fight, and Sensei actually won. But it, it's really not about that. I'm I'm reviewing it a little bit different. I'm viewing it. Is it really the fight because it makes sense, or is it because of the views, right? Like. I hate to put it this way, again, I'm not siding with anybody, but I'm just kind of thinking out loud with myself. So let's see how much Sensei has. So he Sensei has about 7,203, right, uh, subscribers, right? Way much more than what I do, right? But Adam Salah has about 5, 4 million subscribers. So is it because it's really the, everybody wants to see it or you want to get more subscribers or you want to get more viewers? There's something for you to decide. So let me know in the comments below what you think the intention is. Is it because of views and subscribers to get that publicity out or is it because really the fight really makes sense? And if you're new to this channel, by the way, hit that subscribe button and put the notification bell, right? So you can be updated with my weekly, weekly videos at all times. Let's continue on watching this video. Number one, the day trainer thing. I do understand that Yes, I'm a martial arts instructor. However, you have to understand that I am in a school, not in a gym. What that means is that you guys understand that no one that I teach or train competes. I don't train anyone for competitive combat. Like today, I'm gonna go teach class. What's today, Tuesday? First class is like seven year olds to 10 year olds, and it's in my intermediate class, and it's a karate class. Then we have the three and a half to six year old. <laughs> We call those little dragons. Those kids are absolutely the best. Maybe I'll vlog that so I can show you guys in another video or something. And then we have our beginners, our white, yellow, and orange belts. Again, that, that's six and a half to 11 years old. And then we have our teens and adult class. It's weird because I did grow up training in the martial arts, but I did not grow up in a gym where it's about competition, like a boxer or like an MMA fighter. I never really spent time in a, a gym that trained people to fight, nor have I ever trained anyone like a full camp to fight, like something like Vidal would do. Like I know how to strike and I know how to fight and stuff like that and, I, and I've trained and obviously I'm an athlete so I'm in shape enough to compete as an athletic martial artist, but it's not what I do for sure. Number two, it's Sensei, not Sensei or Sensei. I don't, I can't tell if people are just mispronouncing on purpose, but I've heard other people say Sensei, Sensei, I don't, I don't really know. Number sensei. Three, I'm not KSI's old trainer. Sensei, Sensei. Did, did I say it right? Sensei. Yeah, I did. I think so. I think I so. I feel like that was some shade, I, I, obviously, because people put in the comments that you couldn't use my name for my channel. 
because it was doing Roman, that would have made sense. I can't tell that he's just doing that for Shade and not putting my name on the title or trying to say, like, he has a little trainer with a couple of good views. Hmm. Grandma is old trainer. I mean, I, I trained him for the Joe Weller fight for a spark of time, and I trained him for the Logan fight for a small period of time. So the amount of time I spent with him is the same in both. Nothing has changed between before and now. Next, the weight thing. I had a feeling that when I said I, was, I got up to 197, that it was going to be like, oh, man. That's obviously such a big difference. Yes. This, this year is the first time I've ever even been close to 190 pounds in my entire life. I know he's decided on that, that the weight is too big of a thing, obviously, and it does kind of make sense. Mm -hmm. Boxing it does happen all the time, and people who fight at 155 or 160, but technically speaking, it is not common for someone who walks around at his weight yeah. to compete with someone who walks around at like 170. This isn't regular boxing, this is YouTube boxing. And the opponents are far and few between, so it kind of makes sense. And lastly, no, I so I disagree with this part. I mean, yes and no. So the weight class does matter. Um, so even though if you have a, a category or a class. So when I competed in my MMA first fight, I was walking around with 178, 179. And I was competing at 155. So I had to go with this extreme dehydration process, which is really not good for you or your body. But the whole part of it is to gain that weight advantage the next day because the weight, weight ends is before by one day right and again referring to logan paul versus ksi we all see that logan paul is so much bigger guy so he definitely carry a lot more weight and but they had to meet in one kind of class three with sensei in a in a way where like yes adam can actually go up to the class and he can go down but i disagree with the whole fact it's youtube match and really kind of like it's not a big deal no it is a big deal because when you're a bigger guy you're always fighting a smaller guy especially with sensei that he's have endurance has stamina he has a lot more power, he has a lot more strength. And 190 pounds, that's a pretty bulky dude. So, you know, I don't I don't think it's kind of like a fair, it's, it's like, a, I don't know if, if you're an MMA watchers guys, but are fans, but you know when uh, Nick Diaz fought like Conor McGregor and they had to meet up in that one class, the first fight, yeah. So, I mean, granted that Conor McGregor in the rematch did a lot better, uh, redeemed himself, but it was such a big difference with weight size, right? So. Yeah, I do want to say that I never said that you were scared. I never said that Adam was scared. I don't mm -hmm. like, I'm not scared of you, I'll score you. I never said that he was scared. I just thought that because of where my eye was at in my channel, in comparison to people that he could possibly get in the fight, on, I wouldn't be on the list because I'm a high risk, low reward type of opponent. But like, you can box. Interesting. So I never thought that you'd be scared. It's just everyone else that's saying that. And when they look at us, they see us as having a similar background. So in conclusion, I don't want to go back and forth. I just want to give the people what they want and they're asking for us to compete. So I am going to take you up in the sporting match. We are definitely going to make that happen. And I also want to do a basketball match. So maybe we can do a three-point contest or we can do a game of one-on-one -on -one or both. We can have some fun. We can do three-on-three -three with your boys or whatever. I honestly don't care. I'm down for all of it. I love playing basketball. But the people want to see us compete. They want to see us spar. They want to see us. So if we're not going to compete on the undercard of the rematch, then we should definitely spar. And we should definitely make it happen sooner rather than later so adam i will be hitting you up so we can figure out the details and make this happen and put on this show that everyone wants i'm just over here trying to be a good youtuber guys i'm trying to bring you the content that you asked me for so right, i gotta go because there's some kids in the dojo waiting for me to teach some karate moves Oops. All right, so I'm assuming this is the end of it. I'm gonna stop the video right there. But a lot of respect to Sensei. I, I, you know, honestly, not a lot of YouTubers are like that anymore. Well, not all of them, but it's like, you could tell the guy means good intent and he actually wants to do it just because he's claiming what the fans are. I think it's a little bit more in depth with that because like, let's say I call out Sensei right now and be like, hey Sensei, let's go spar with each other. Is he gonna do it or not? I should try, right? You should go in his comments below on his video and tell him, hey, Haido is calling you out for, for a sparring session because he's rusty. Once I get back on track, you know, I've been out for like three years, no excuses. But once I get back on track, you know, you're going to see me throw all these jabs and all these crosses and all that stuff. Watch me get knocked out. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. You know, Adam versus Sensei, is it going to happen? If it's not going to happen, if it does, who do you think is going to win? Is it going to be by decision or is it going to be by KO or TKO? All right. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until I see you guys later, take care. You have a nice day.